We is recording. chat with you properly so today's video we're going to talk to you about our goals for this year for 2019 yeah and we hope we can achieve them <laughs> okay number one is getting the house finished yeah. yeah you want to get the house finished don't you okay we picked the house as number one because well we want it now but <laughs> It's also the biggest project. Yes, it um, is. Time and money wise. Yeah, we've actually had quite a lot of trials and struggles over the years um, to do with my brother's death. And here we are. A lot of things. A lot. We'll, we'll of not just say yeah, that. It's I'm, not just that, but that has been the main cause, let's say. Mm. Um, but here we are, it's taken five and a half years to get his estate settled for Sean and Danny. Mm. A lot of time, a lot of money and a lot of effort have gone into lawyers. So that's all taken away from the house. Yeah. But we have finished yes. with lawyers. This month, April is... Preferably the... forever. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this month, April is the first month in five and a half years that we are done with legal stuff, done with lawyers, done with all that Legal stuff mess. we've been forced into. Yes. I mean, none of it was like, hey, let's do this. We need a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. It's been crap. We have to get a lawyer. Yeah. But they're all paid up. Legal stuff is done. So this month is the first month that we can start really getting back into investing in the house yeah our money and our time and our effort uh, we couldn't be more excited so since that's the case that's our goal for this year number yeah. one is to get the house finished and it's gonna just be well it's gonna open a lot of doors for us as a family and for our homestead well not just that but okay i've already started collecting what she thinks about it all. That's what it all sounds like. But uh, <laughs> she'll she'll kick in when I'm actually saying something important. Watch. But uh, I, I've already started collecting stuff up from for the house. Yeah. Um, so you will start seeing more and more videos of me working on the house. Um, I mean, the next. I've got bukus of stuff to do though. Yeah. The list the is like a mile long. Yeah, and that's just what I can see of it. <laughs> There's but always stuff you're not expecting. The next, don't think of. Well, the next thing is a huge project, and that's going to be getting our septic in. Yes. Um, that is a massive, massive cost and a massive project. But that is the next thing. And then once that is done, we can start working more and more on the inside of the house. And you would not believe how quickly Crazy that's goat. going. Stop Daisy. that. Daisy's Daisy. eating a plastic bag. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure the kids are going to look forward to having their own rooms and a bit more space just for their own time or to play. Sanity. And, yeah, our sanity too. They can't yeah. fight every night at bedtime yeah. about who's sleeping where. Yes, they, they have can. their own bedroom. You can't say that. They will still fight as to who's sleeping where. But also with uh, schoolwork, um, cooking, you know, this is all stuff we want them to be doing, them to be learning. Yeah, we're not wanting them to just do it so we don't have to. Yeah. We are wanting them <laughs> to do it so that they know how. I mean, but, I mean, getting in the house, <laughs> it really is going to open a lot of doors and oh, it's just going to be so nice. So, that's number one. Number one for 2019. I could live in a tent. 
I want my house. It's a nice house. <laughs> but number one for 2019 is we want to have the house completed, our final inspection, and to be in the house by the end of the year at the very latest. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. So that's number one. Uh, now, to add on to that, um, we've had people asking us to set up um, uh, PayPal. No, well, what's the other one? GoFundMe. A GoFundMe thing. I, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm not a big GoFundMe kind of person. Um, because we've had people asking, say, look, set this up and we would. Good catch, girly. <laughs> um, you know, we would like to give you money towards this or this or this. Yeah, towards uh, the house. Towards the house or projects, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, but we've set up a PayPal account and we've actually got it. Is it in the description? It's, it's linked to our, um, it's linked in every video. And if you click on show more it, the, in the description, it's one of the links Wrong down one. there. <laughs> yeah, but okay, uh, if y'all are wanting to give any money towards anything, um, let us know if you've done it. it. Can you, there's a way to check to see who gives it, or? Um, I well, think so. Even if you just tell us the amount, we can look up to see, you know, that it, it did come in. And let us know what you want it to be for, and we'll do a video on it. I mean, you know, we'll show you what we've bought, uh. We'll give you a list of stuff if y'all are interested. Um, you know, just small stuff. I'm not expecting you to pay for the house or, you know, wow. expecting anything. But it's just, you know, some people ask, so why not? You're doing this on purpose. I think she is. Um, but, yeah, it, you know, anything. You let us know, and we'll do a video on it. We'll show you the install, what we think of what we bought. I mean, well, if you're a... Uh, YouTube channel or anything like that, we'll go ahead and give you a shout out. Yep. You know, we appreciate everything, but uh, yep, we just to let you know, we have done that. Yeah, I mean, people that have already donated to us personally, whether it's been money or time or even the Materials, items themselves, yeah. I mean, we really, really appreciate that, guys. Mm -hmm. I we mean, do. you don't know how much it helps and we don't try and go for the most expensive thing. We try and go for the most practical. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying we buy the cheapest no. things out well, that's there. It. It, it has to be decent quality. And yeah. I look at things not by brand or anything like that. I look at it by quality. So, I mean, not, oh, well, usually not. The most expensive thing is the best quality. So, uh, you know, that's what I do. Now, I would appreciate it if y'all didn't send stuff because with our regulations and everything, we actually live in a county that's really rough on regulations. Yeah. <laughs> so I would hate for y'all to send us something and us not be able to use it. So, like I say, if you do want to donate money or anything like that, let us know. And, uh, you did good. Yeah, but uh, yeah, just let us know, and I promise we'll get the video on for you and everything. Yeah. Let you know what we bought, that your money did go towards it if you donate money. Yeah. All right, so number two for goals for 2019 is we want to build up and grow our homestead. Yes. We um, do. We've already, you know, started the process. We started it last year when we got our first two baby goats and a few chickens. And, but thing is, we want to grow it bigger and bigger. We want to get more goats, which we're still waiting on Susan and Lily to have their babies. Um, and eventually we want to get Daisy and Clover bread. So yes. they should, you know, we're planning for them to have babies in the fall. That's one of our goals for this goal is we're going to have to look into that soon, though, Daisy and uh, Glover. May, would say. May. If we breed them in May, we should have October babies. <laughs> um, but 
we do want to grow our herd over the years because we were both debating about around how many goats ideally we'd like to have down the line and we were saying around 20 um so that'd be really, dairy really, goats dairy goats yeah <laughs> for milking um but also it's because with us having such a large family it's nice if we don't have to be going out and buying milk and eventually i'm gonna learn how to do cheese and butter and yogurt and, and yeah all this kind of stuff but now don't think of it as you need 20 goats to support no, no, a family no, no. our size. We would like 20 yeah. goats eventually. So I mean, we've already got people that, you know, they're already asking to buy goat's milk off of us. For their animals. For their animals. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's something we're wanting to do. I mean, if it looks like we're not going to be able to use that much milk, you know, it used, a use for it. We're not going to just let it go to waste. No, I mean, definitely not. But I don't think it'll be a problem. At all. But yeah, we're going to um, hopefully Susan and Lily will have their babies pretty soon. So that'll grow our herd. Susan will be any day. I think it's going to be real soon. Lily's got a little time to wait. Yeah. Her tail ligament's not quite yeah. gone. I'd say Lily's got at least um, another week. And then when we breed uh, Clover and Daisy, that'll just grow a bit more. So for the end of this year, for the goats, ideally, you know, for building and growing our homestead, ideally we like would like to add at least a minimum of four more female goats for milking. Yeah. And then also towards growing our homestead is chickens. And again, we've already started that. We've got 24 more chicks this year. <laughs> 24 or 26? I thought we have 24 in there, but then I got the other two. I thought including the little two with 24. I think you're wrong. Maybe it's 26 then. I think it's 26. But again, um, we do... Over the winter, and even right now, we've been doing really well with egg sales. And again, this isn't the whole reason for us for getting chickens. We started out getting chickens for us. Um, because we go through a powerful lot of eggs with our we size do. of family. But then we were getting an overabundance because our hens laid right through the winter. And you can only stomach so many eggs where you need a bit of a break from them, no matter how many different ways you try to make them. Um, but again, we want to have quite a lot of chickens because it's not only for the eggs, but what we're planning to do is as the hens get older, we will butcher them. And again, that'll be meat for us. And then the younger ones will be laying and we just want to keep this cycle going, keep younger ones for laying and we'll have the older ones for butchering. Um, so again, that's something for this year. We've already started the process of growing how many chickens we've got. <laughs> and then the big project that we've already started on is the veggie garden. Yeah. Yeah, you like that idea. Now this is the first year for us that we're going to be doing such a big veggie garden. I've never done a garden this big. Uh, what is it? 20? Well... Since Dad's helping, I'm not sure. Because my plan was to do a 20 by 100 foot garden, okay? And we've got a spot of land for it. Uh, the soil's actually pretty good because we had horses there for years. Many moons ago. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just with feeding them hay and everything and moving it all over the place and all the manure and everything, the soil is really nice. Yeah. Um, but I had this section I was wanting to do, and Dad's like, well, you've still got a little piece of land right here. <laughs> you know, do that too. <laughs> well, yesterday we actually started ripping ground, getting up all the rocks, because rock is West Virginia state flower. <laughs> I mean, they're everywhere. They pop up all over the place. Hey, Every year. Here's a quick plug. If anyone wants to buy a West Virginia rock, they're a dollar a piece. Dollar a piece, we'll any size. <laughs> any size. If they get over... You know what, five pound, I'm sorry, you gotta come get it yourself. But a uh, dollar a piece, not a problem. 
<laughs> you make millions. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we'll even stamp your certification on there, West Virginia Rock. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I put Dad on the tractor yesterday, and I I had an idea as to where we were doing it. Well, he's making loops, and you know, every which way we can do. Oh, he was having a whale of a time. Yeah. You can just see where Tom gets his love of tractors and stuff from. Mm -hmm. He gets it from his papa. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not sure how big the garden's going to turn out to be. But or the shape, well, because it might just be everywhere he could possibly <laughs> drive the tractor. But so. the original plant was 100 foot by 20 foot. 20 foot. So even the original plant, even though now it's looking like it might be bigger, we've still never done one that size. So this year we decided to do such a large one because we want to not only grow food for us as a family, but we want to double growing for feed for our animals because that will help cut down on cost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're going to be uh, growing and building for a bigger herd for our goats more chickens, a huge veggie garden, might end up twice the size when your dad's concert. <laughs> yeah. um, and the reason we're wanting to do this and we really wanted to get it get going on it good this year is because we're wanting to become more self-sufficient. Well, not only that, I mean, we were talking about how we need to just push for the house, nothing else at one time. Yeah, we were. <laughs> well, she was. Yeah, and, I was. <laughs> you know, I did the whole smile and nod thing because we don't do things that way. We just I know, don't. we always make plans and then they kind of like just go sideways. Take a complete step. And then step. backwards and then we'll hop over the first step. It's like driving around West Virginia. Yeah. You just go whoo all over the place. You can't drive straight because you'll go off a cliff. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but um, you know, this is stuff that will already be established when we're in the house. So we won't be starting from scratch. And not just that. It's all a future investment. Well, I know we've already invested in the goats and the chickens and the gardens, but you would not believe how much money we saved in groceries alone. Yeah. From when we were milking the uh, milking Susan, that was just one goat last year, not having to buy milk. And again, with and to the say eggs, that, watch our video on shopping for you know our size of family and then think wow they're saving money yeah we say well since they're that, buying this much stuff and they're saving money well since that video we've done things on the homestead that's actually saving us even more yeah. so you know it's building and building to save us and if you think all that comes back around to the house because then if that's not money we have to put into groceries because we're getting our own we can sink that into the house and get into the house sooner. Mm. Um, but it's also, we wanted a homestead originally and we really decided to push for it and really grow it this year because we want a healthier lifestyle for us and the kids. Yeah. Because we were talking about ah! it earlier and it's in the news all the time. It seems to be constant. They're doing recalls time and time and time again on different How do you kinds have a recall on lettuce? Well, that's it. There's been How eggs. does that work? Well, there's been recalls on eggs, meat, and all kinds of veggies for salmonella and bacteria and this, that, and the other. And it's getting to where when you buy stuff in the store, you don't even really know what you're getting and if it's going to be good for your family. Whereas if you grow it or you raise it on your own property, you know what's going into that. It's a lot more healthier and safer for your family. Yeah, so, well, I'm sorry. I, I grew up in school them saying, eat more vegetables. It's good for you. <laughs> Not from the store, it isn't. I saw a thing. Uh, get uh, salmonella poison. <laughs> I saw a thing one time saying, uh, you know, it's a crazy world when chocolate's uh, healthier than vegetables. <laughs> or safer, when it's safer than vegetables. <laughs> I mean, come on. Make sure you cook all your vegetables so you don't get food poisoning. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we just, 
find that it not only is safer, but everything tastes so much better. It does. <laughs> straight from the ground or straight from your animals straight into your fridge but it's also skills that i grew up with i mean mom and dad taught me how to do this stuff and yeah. it, i mean if we wait forever the kids ain't gonna care when they're bigger yeah so i mean you gotta kind of do it when you know they're small and they'll appreciate it later on in life and uh I could honestly say I never thought I'd be living my dream since I was probably about Joe's age, around six or seven. I always said that uh, when I grow up, I want to have a mini farm. That's what I called it. And Don't eat sticks. To actually have it, that's my dream come true. It really is. And again, this is going to be skills for the kids. That even if they don't get into farming, if they end up needing it down the line for whatever reason, or if they do suddenly decide to just have a small veggie garden in the backyard, they've got the skill, they've got the know-how. Mm. And actually, it this kind of goes hand in hand with building and growing our homestead, is that this year we're going to be having the kids do more and more. Um, Which they're wanting to. Yeah, they're wanting to. Set those up there. Like, we're really going to have them helping with milking. Um, they're looking forward to that. Yeah, they can't wait. And they can't wait to get in the garden too. Getting their hands in the dirt and going to pick our own veggies. So, it's just nice that we're going to be having them doing these skills and wanting to be outside instead of those flipping video games. <laughs> You know what I said growing up? You you said you'd like to live on a farm. A mini farm. The only thing I ever said growing up was, I am not going to live in a city. <laughs> well, we're you living the dream. You forced me to live in a city. <laughs> we're living the dream. <laughs> Our dream. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's number two is building our homestead. Just growing it and growing it this year. Um, so, anyway, on to number three. And we did this kind of separate. Um, we want to build a greenhouse in the fall. Yeah, which is kind of part of the homestead and all, but it, it's a goal I have. I yeah. want to build a greenhouse. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do it yet. <laughs> I've got 100 ideas, and I know I'll hit this point to where it'll be. Oh, let's do this. Yeah, I'm just going to do it this way, and now, that's the way it'll go. We have talked about using our wooden pallets again. I mean, we get them free and they have come in handy with so many projects so far. So if you can do it for free, recycle and reuse, why not? Mm. But we wanted to do a greenhouse because it's going to be really nice to be able to grow through the winter. And again, yes. not only for us, but for feed for our animals as well. And winter seems to last so long for us. <laughs> it feels like I mean, okay, it'll be t-shirt weather at Christmas, and we'll be like, man, winter's never going to get here. We're never going to see no snow. And then two months later, it's like, good God, is this ever going to go away? I'm tired of being cold. I don't want to get no more firewood. Well, just a couple of weeks back, we had uh, where it was 70 degree weather, and then literally the next day, it snowed. I yes. mean, it wasn't a whole lot, but it was enough to cover the ground. And then it warmed up gradually again, so... It is enough to depress a person. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> but if we can have a greenhouse that we don't have to worry about the weather, especially the snow, and continue growing, that is really going to help us out. And our biggest cost uh, on the homestead is feed for the animals through the winter. Yeah. Because they can't be out, like the goats, they can't be out grazing on grass and stuff because there isn't any. So if we can grow feed, again, that's going to cut down on the cost. We'll have... Uh, Which, I, I know we won't be able to grow everything oh, we're no, needing. no. But anything to cut costs on feed. Yeah. That's like chickens right now. I'm going through uh, $15, or, yeah, $15 worth of feed a week. And that sucks. That's terrible. Yeah. I mean, and I know we're getting a bigger flock of chickens, so that's going to shoot way up. But in the summer... But that goes hand in hand with the greenhouse. We're yeah. getting more chickens, but we're wanting a greenhouse to grow more food. 
And if you're not having to give them like pellets and stuff, if you can give them proper nice leafy greens, yeah. they get more eggs. That's healthier chickens, yeah, healthier they're goats. Happy. Um, they're getting all those vitamins and minerals all year round. That's actually pretty cool. In the summer, when everything starts growing and weeds pop up and all, we'll actually rip up the weeds, right? <laughs> and you know the chickens are happy because, I mean, they run to the side of the fence, you throw it in, they all start clucking and carrying on, and maybe five minutes later, you can listen to chicken after chicken, chicken after laying. chicken laying eggs, just <laughs> yeah. tickled to death. So, yeah, we're gonna get a greenhouse going. Again, healthier lifestyle for all of us on the homestead. For us, the kids, and all the animals. Mm. So, and that's in the fall. I'm planning that. Yeah, we're not gonna do that anytime soon because we say we well <laughs> we want to get on with the house. Um, Our plans don't never go to plan. So well, let's say the more instead of plans, the more ideas. Yes, we have these ideas, <laughs> and they're gonna happen. We, we just, just don't, don't know, know when. when. <laughs> we don't know the when or the order, but they're gonna happen. Yeah. So that's it. Number three is get a greenhouse. Build a greenhouse. Build a greenhouse. So on to number four. We need your guys' help for this one. We want to continue working towards growing our YouTube channel. Hmm. We love that we can get to interact with you guys through comments and stuff. Yeah, now saying that though, just to give you a heads up, all right. It's usually her that gives you the reply. Okay? Oh yeah, and that's on the the live streams when yeah, I'm she's always on the live streams. Ah! Oh my goodness! Usually with my little helper here because I'm usually nursing her or getting her yeah, to sleep. Yeah, and I'm usually <laughs> cooking or trying to wrangle kids or something. Yeah. But uh, teamwork. <laughs> every time y'all send or you know give us a comment or a like or anything like that, I've actually got it on my phone to where it gives me the notification. So I mean, I'm reading the comments and. If it's towards me or something, I'll just say, hey, hon, tell this person this. And, and we do type it, so. make sure we always reply. Yeah. We do. Because so far, you guys have given us absolutely amazing support. And we couldn't be more grateful. Um, and also, I've found that through chatting with people, either on comments or live streams or whatever, the community, the homestead and farming community, even if you haven't got a channel, just coming together. You all are absolutely fantastic. You, you're full of so much help and advice and encouragement and support. And I didn't know there was such a big no, we uh, didn't realize. community for it. We actually, when we started, I did search after search after search looking for other homesteading channels. And they're really hard to find. Until you, you know, get into it and start into it, and then it just pop up everywhere. Till you open that door. Yeah, I mean, we're finding new ones just about every single day. Um, and we really like it that not only you guys support us on our channel, but we like to support other channels and help yeah. you guys grow your channel as well, whether it's through comments or watch time, subscribing, um, shout outs anything because again this is why it's such a lovely community because everyone builds each other up hmm. and even when it's criticism it's, it's not negative and nasty it's really encouraging it, and it is from the heart and to genuinely help you hello buddy all right sorry people um we had a problem with the camera yeah it shut off on us we didn't know about it we actually finished this video <laughs> And uh, we's done. I've been welding and... Ellie took a nap. Ellie took a nap and it looks like we're gonna have some rain blow in here so we're gonna have to be quick. But uh, where we left off was, um, uh, I like criticism. Cri yeah. Criticism. Con constructive criticism. Yeah, all right. Uh, I get into stuff, I do. And I do it the way I see it should be done. But that doesn't mean that that's the way it should be done. Um, you know, mine's all trial and error. So if I have somebody say, look, 
uh, if you're planning on doing this, we see, but don't do it this way, because, you know, basically, y'all are doing the same stuff we're doing, and if you've already tried it and it didn't work out, well, there's a pretty good chance I shouldn't do it that way. So, uh, I, I'm for it. But we actually will talk me into starting the YouTube channel. I actually didn't want to, but as we got talking about it, it I, I was doing really bad in getting my photos put on for my family and friends back in England to see the kids growing and stuff. And it would be Easter and I'd be putting Christmas photos on. Yeah. And Will was the one that said, well, why don't we start a YouTube channel? <laughs> oh my goodness. And it was Will that said, well, why don't we start a YouTube channel just purely for friends and family? Because Will's got family in other states as well. And this way we can just record what we're doing each day, put them on our channel, and that keeps everybody up to date. <laughs> Which so that's what we did. <laughs> I got her into doing the YouTube channel, but my father's the one that got me into doing the YouTube channel. Yeah. He talked me into it. We were, you know, watching videos and stuff on YouTube, watching a couple of people. And he's like, you need to do that. You could do that. You know, <laughs> I'm always having people asking me how I do this, how I do that. Yeah. And he's like, well, you know, you ought to be doing it. Well, I gave up and uh, I thought, okay, we're going to do a YouTube channel. I don't know what about. Because I do small engine work, I was doing mechanic work, I didn't know if we were going to do it, you know, about us or what. So, I basically had to talk her into it, and that was how it happened. Yeah. And, you know, we want to build to a thousand subscribers, mm -hmm. um, and the initial reason for the our channel for it growing is for family and friends and then from there we want to do it to help other people just to see how we do things how we save money how we raise a large family how we're getting a house done just all the millions of projects and things that we do each day and then yeah we'll admit it's also to hopefully get a little money from YouTube because even if it's just 20 bucks that's something that's gonna be helpful towards the homestead um, whether it's buying fence or feed hey girls and who doesn't like making money yeah on something they like doing and it's yeah. easy because I've grown up my whole life in manual labor I'm good at it but that's what I've done if I could make money sitting like Ooh. now that would be awesome. Hi, Lily. I'm not saying it would support us. No, well, it doesn't need to. But that's not what we're looking for either. I mean, if it did, you know, I'm not going to complain. Yeah. I mean, who's going to complain <laughs> about being supported by sitting? Yeah. Well, we don't do a lot of sitting. I don't do a lot of sitting. <laughs> but it might lead to me doing some more sitting. So, I don't know. I'm not... But we just think having the goal of getting to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year is pretty reasonable. Um, and we're always happy that not only you guys are supporting us, but we always like to like, comment, subscribe, and help out other channels as well. And again, it's just this community of helping each other out. And who wouldn't want to be in a community like that? Even though it's all online, you just really feel like you get to know people. Yeah, I'm not a people person at all. <laughs> I, I don't like being around people. Well, I mean, not I, much. Not much. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm just not that big in the people. But uh, I have to say, I, I do like the Homestead YouTube community. Yeah. And not just YouTube, but I mean, all y'all that don't even have channels, you know. Uh oh. No, don't eat that. That's my muffin. I'm gonna have to hold on to the goats are eyeing them up. <laughs> my muffin. But uh, yeah, I, I do like it. I do. And um, you know, we're happy to also do shout outs and stuff. And we weren't asked to do this, but we want to give a shout out to Daryl and Sherry from Two Family Homestead. 
they are incredible people that just genuinely have a really big heart for helping other channels out especially small ones um, if you go over to two family homestead they have certain days of the week where they do different kind of live streams they yeah you oh, like them too good. she likes their dogs uh smudge, smudge. don't yeah yeah he's a cute dog but they do shout outs they look at your channel um and again constructive criticism on anything you could change up about your channel to make it a bit more appealing to draw in those subscribers and uh I, I just really feel like I know them really well because I've chatted with them so much and they're just such loving kind people so go and check out Two Family Homestead, they are lovely <laughs> but that's our number four goal is to try and get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year Yeah, which y'all could help out with Yeah, let people know about <laughs> it we'd appreciate it and if you don't like what we're putting on tell us what you do want to see yeah let us know in the comments or send us an email or something and um, we'd be happy to do a video on whatever you might be needing yep so that's number four and we save the uh, number five we save for last because we feel it's the most important and we hope it's going to encourage anybody that might need it right now um, number five for our goal for 2019 is to continue growing our relationship with God. Putting God first in our lives, our marriage, in our family life, everything we do around the homestead, just in general. Yeah. Because... There are good times and bad. Yeah, we have had a lot of trials over the years. Um, none of it was self-inflicted it's just what was put upon us and there were times looking back that our faith really got shaken to the core and it would have been easy to just turn our back on God and walk away but he never took his hand off us and even in times where I felt like I couldn't pray I'd try and pray and just be like God I don't even know what to pray I'm just worn down he would bring people whether it was at church or out shopping for groceries or getting gas people that we knew just saying hey God put you on my heart and I really been praying for you and your family and it just it's just been so nice to get uplifted that way and we want to pass this on to our kids yeah I mean, <laughs> we've already been teaching them, you know, Bible stories and we go to church and when the kids are being grouchy or talking bad to each other, we used to say, treat people how you want to be treated. But the younger ones took that in the way of, well, they hit me, so they obviously want to be hit. So then they hit them back. We got a bunch of smart aleck kids. So. <laughs> So we then changed it to treat people how Jesus would and we over the years we've been teaching them that look Jesus treated everybody with love and respect whether it was the most honorable king down to a leper he didn't care a person is a person that deserves love and respect and that's how we are we don't care whether you're married you're not married you're gay you're straight your race um, whether you live in a huge mansion or a teeny tiny shack we will show you love and respect well, no matter what and we want to pass that on to the kids and that is from growing our relationship with God yeah, well I mean it doesn't say in the Bible to only love Christians no it doesn't I mean you're supposed to love all men and you know every it also says you know everybody has to make their own choices good or bad yeah so, I mean, there might be somebody making bad choices right now, but that doesn't mean they're always going to be making bad choices. So, I mean, and we're not supposed to judge them for it. I mean, that's just the way it's supposed to yeah. be. Now, you can have love and respect for a person, even if they're going down the wrong road, 
and kind of take a step back but that doesn't mean you have to stop praying for them and we just when we look back of things we've gone through and how our faith and our relationship with God has grown over the years I've always had this saying especially the last few years of having God in your life doesn't make life easy but having him in your life sure does make it make life easier to deal with <laughs> yeah and the things we've gone through when we have not only passed our troubles on to God but left them there it's brought us so much peace even through the hard times because we know God's got it he's got to take care of it <laughs> yeah. uh, I've been a lot less stressed out these last two years than we've really been practicing now yeah and we just even though we've been doing it we just want to continue to build on that continue to build that relationship with God and really have him central in our lives um, so you know whether you're a Christian or not we don't mind we're just happy to have all you guys following us and we just want to try and encourage whoever might need it right now but there we go that's our five goals for 2019 guys welcome and Glover just wants a muffin so uh, we hope this is helpful and encouraging to any of you guys. Uh, we're happy to bring you along for the journey. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Crazy goat. <laughs> Crazy dog. You want in on this? What, oh. are, you got? what are your goals? Getting Her fat. goals is to get my muffins. Her goal is to get your muffins and get fat. Well, she's got one done. <laughs> your fat goat. <laughs> crazy fat goat. <laughs> we love our crazy critters. Flying goat. Bye.